Welcome to Good Mythical More. If you love being naked and you're interested in doing it in different scenarios, well, we're gonna help guide you in the right direction. Yeah, you've come to the right place. But first, let's play Ready, Pet, Go, where we look at a pet submission to hashtag GMM Ready, Pet, Go, and we decide what your uh, animal's name is. This one's from Jackie Wayne. Jackie Wayne named that cat. Oh, reading the Book of Mythicality. I'm gonna go That's with just- a peaceful looking. I'm just going with the fact that it's a black cat. Midnight. Hmm. Sammy. Proper name Sandwich, but goes by Sammy. Edgar, Edgar and Poe. Poe. That's cute. Okay. <laughs> uh, what do you think they actually call him, Ed? Poe, I think would be good. Po Everybody's like, Poe, for real, Meow sure. Poe. I'm finding myself crazy? actually enjoying looking at cats now. Like, I, wh where are you at on your cat journey? Because Sokka is, um, I'm not on a cat journey. He, he welcomes me I, every I, morning. I, I have yet to begin it. Yeah, I mean, he's doing he, he's doing good. He's liking me. Uh, he he won't jump up on my lap, but he will insist that I pet him on his terms, hmm. which is on the floor. Yeah. Okay. Well, good for you. All right. Nakedness. Barbara. Naked scenarios. Hates. Barbara's Barbara. always naked. Yeah. We need Barbara more hates, nakedness. Hates Link's cat. Uh, we did establish That's that. Right. Ooh, it was bad the last time she was over there. Okay, so I'm gonna there. give you a scenario. You're gonna tell me if it's better clothed, clothed, or naked. Like, for instance, cooking, which Link, I don't know if you do clothed Maybe either. this is, <laughs> no, maybe this will unlock cooking for me. I, that seems bad. That's you a know, that's a that's a no go. Thinking of like grease spatter on the pitter patter. You know what I'm talking about? Here's what I'll say about that. Just an apron. Now that's something I'd do. Justin in an apron. Just an apron because you've got you you you're protected from like Do you say that's something I do? It's something I would do. A would do. Okay. Okay. Now there would be no wood. Um Okay. But <laughs> Okay. Okay. Unless I was making beans. No. Um I have plans to be naked in the house more often once the once the children are gone. You know, something I'm working up towards. I like that idea for me, but I'm gonna warn you before I come over. Well, thank you. Yeah. yeah. Swimming is, I know, not gonna be on your list, but let me tell you right now, naked swimming is the best swimming. And it's just, yeah. it's so, it's, it's so much better than having any clothes on. Do you know why it's so good? Because you feel like you are the pool, like, the body of water is an extension of 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 your person. It I think like. it takes you as close as you can get back to being the womb in the womb. Oh, you, you were you were in liquid and it was just all over you and you're <laughs> sucking it in and stuff. I don't it's, actually I don't know how it worked. I think it went through the cord, but it's being touched that's, on that's every why I think it's good. outer square inch of your body at once. That's the beauty of naked swimming. Mm. You got to try it. You gotta do it. You gotta do it. Swimming was on my list. Oh, we'll skip. Let's skip we'll swimming. Skip well, when was the last? So time, much better. Naked. When was the last time you went skinny dipping? All uh, Stevie and Link. I'm asking this question to the group. Uh, I jumped in the uh, the pool at the Creative House completely naked uh, back when it was really hot. So like the last time it was really hot. Well, thank you for thank you for telling me that. <laughs> I'll call I'll call the pool guy immediately. Uh, I mean, I, yeah, I'm not counting. I'm not counting it's, my house because that happens on a pretty regular it's like basis. Being touched everywhere at once. Well, and what's the? I feel like the body of water has to be of a certain size to call it skinny dipping. Yeah, it can't be a bath. Because then it would be a bath. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, it it has to be at least a like a like a horse trough. I honestly think it was probably. The last time I was outside, because I also, you know, outside, uh, I think it was probably when we went hiking. We were camping with with Mike, and we uh, not McCarg, another Mike. Uh, yeah, and we went and up we, to that we camp to that like Alpine Lake, and it was like nobody for miles and miles and miles, and 
we all swam in that lake. It that was, was really cold and there was a cold. big rock kind of out in the middle. Yeah. And we we swam out to the rock with our clothes on, I think, and then Mike took his clothes off and jumped off the rock. I didn't know, we got in naked. It we, was his we, idea, we but I'm glad it, we I mean, it was We didn't want to get idea. our clothes wet. Was that the same gonna, camping yeah, trip as the, right. I thought you were also naked with a, a male stranger that you did not know. Yeah, that well, was, that was a different camping trip. That was a Death Valley. And that was when you go, there's a couple of yeah, springs, hot springs, hot springs in Death Valley where there's old men who are just naked there all the time. Yep. And if you really wanna get into the program, you also need to get naked. Drop the crime. program. Yeah, yeah. I'm a member of that program now. Yeah, yeah. Gardening. <laughs> no. That's, yeah, that's that's weird. But it does sort of like. You don't want anybody to walk up on you. But I, it, it, I mean, I like the idea of it now that I think about it because it's like returning back to our natural state, you know? And just the idea of just kind of just being this animal that's not concerned about covering itself, picking things off of the earth and eating them. Think about the poison oak factor, though. If you encountered poison oak, uh, in that naked, area, no, yeah. so. I have gotten poison ivy in that area. Mm. That's it, tough. It, it was it was that's a rough tough. few weeks. It itches and it oozes. Hey. Oh, here's one for Link: cleaning. Yourself, uh, yeah, naked. I've, I've segued from thinking I was. You've gotten back into segueing. <laughs> I've segued naked. You segue around the. <laughs> you segue around the mythical enterprises. Mm, you know, it's got a bar in front, so if with the right, right angle, angle, then no I'm one, no one it's can obstructed. See right. No, I've I've uh, seamlessly segued from intending to take a shower to then cleaning my shower while completely naked. Uh, definitely done that. And then once you start cleaning the shower, you're like, now I'm gonna, I might clean the sink. Uh, but not cleaning Some like the sh like the shared areas of the um, of the house. It's like, more like the bathroom area. So not like naked dusting of, you yeah. know, living room tables. But there is that van with the ads on the side of it around LA. And it's like the cleaning service that um, the cleaners are topless. Yeah, right. I, I That's such a, I have we talked wonder. about this? Isn't that such a strange, Zach, you're nodding. We looked into it. <laughs> you, you looked into it, or the yeah, mythical I crew looked into it. And they don't really clean. You have to pay extra to have an actual person come in and clean. So, so you're paying someone to come in and be topless. Yeah. And, but they're, it's a, it's a, they're, they're, they're just simulating They're just cleaning. dressed like they could be cleaning. And then if you want them to clean, I think they, bring you, they bring another person who actually cleans. Yeah. So you're telling me yeah. that for no price, you can't just get a naked topless lady to actually vacuum for you? For no price. No, I'm saying there's no price that you could pay for that because you're saying that they're gonna bring in another person with clothes on to vacuum? I mean, maybe you could talk to the person who actually comes in. Maybe you can convince them that that's mm. Well, I, you know what? Why do you sound like you're negotiating with Zach? <laughs> I think Zach drives the van. <laughs> just, I wonder what kind of business they Task do. Rabbit. I wonder what kind of business they do because they're, you see the vans parked all over town. What are they called? Topless mates? There's different, there's different services. Um, the van's usually pink. So kind of yes to cleaning. Okay, yoga. That sounds like, uh, I mean, I've been, I've done some yoga stretches in the wrong pants, and uh, you don't wanna do that. There, remember that Lululemon controversy? You could see right through them. Oh yeah, is that right? Yeah, yeah, they had the really thin yoga pants. I definitely like, uh, I mean, I like the idea of naked yoga. I'm. I, it has to be a thing somewhere. You got hot yoga, you got, the other yogas, the Bikram, whatever that is. That's hot yoga. Oh. Uh, but in a group? Yeah. By myself? A lot of angles, a lot of butts in the air, legs spread, it's, it's, uh, it, it shifts from yoga to something else, I think. Right, I mean, just think about- You don't want ogling. Somebody in front of you doing downward dog. Right. 
right. depending on the person, but you don't want, that's not what yoga is about. That's not, that's not what they're there for, so that's yeah. not what you should be there for. It's really a lose-lose situation because it's either somebody that you don't want to see do downward dog, and then if you do want to see them do downward dog, then you've got an upward dog situation on yourself, you know what I'm saying? How did we do, Stevie, in the, that, that whole thing? I mean, it. The, I uh, honestly was really impressed. That we held I it was, together? What? What, with our final product or with, or with our actions? With near to your final product, I did feel as if she really smudged your nipple on that one. I will give that to you. She, she just went in and she nipple. erased your nipple, and it was like, upsetting to me. Is that why she gave you the bigger price? Because she felt sorry for messing your your drawing up? Well, I think it's because she did more of it. She did. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think I offended her artistic sensibilities with all the stuff in the background, but it just felt so naked. <laughs> You know, I was like, this is just a dude in the space. I mean, I got to put him somewhere. I think we were childish in the right ways, but not the wrong ways. That's what I was concerned about with the episode. Did yeah, we, well, did as we far thread as the everyone needle? knows who saw the edit, you were childish in all the right ways. All the right ways. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nothing happened that had to be cut. I thought that was really fun. I, I really did. I th I'm really glad that we did it because yeah, it let's do it every episode. Okay. I'm gonna be honest. I uh, there is something that appeals to me to be um, on the uh, on the giving end of that. That's an interesting way to put it. I think Amber did more work than you did personally. Um, but so what do you mean by giving? The idea of being a nude model is appealing. Oh, of you doing it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I just, why? why? Uh, I don't know. I just, it, like, being that comfortable, like, I mean, you got to give it to them. They showed up here. There's, there's a crew of, of, of nice, well-meaning, well receptive people, but Most they don't know that. And they're like naked in front of all you guys and us. Yeah, but and we're we're yammering on why, about the stuff we yammered on about. Why does that make you want to do that? <clears throat> well, the, there was um whatever that NPR show is where they um they tell stories theme themed stories. Moth, or oh, the uh, moth. I think it is the moth because it's like people have helped them get good at telling their story in front of a crowd. Yes, the moth. Yeah, and this one guy. He's an older guy. He talked about how um, he he's like in his sixties, but he got um, he got into being a, a nude model, and he did it to just kind of embrace who he embrace his body hmm. and and just get more comfortable, kind of overcome kind of a fear. And then once he did it, he described his any you know he was it, it it was funny and entertaining story. But the point was. He got comfortable with himself, and uh, he, so he talked about the things that he, that that journey of just accepting who he was and just putting himself out there. And he kind of got addicted to it. And, and then I'm he like, started going to parks. <laughs> and, and now he's in jail. No, it's just like <laughs> second career type thing. I, I, can, I mean, I totally, I almost, Uniformly, I like attention. I understand what you're saying, but I, I I have the exact opposite perspective, which is I'm not surprised at all that there are many people who are like like I'm not surprised at all that they have absolutely no problem with it. That it's like once you do something like that, it's like yes, I have a body, you have right. a body, you know right. what bodies look like. It's like a proctologist at that point in some ways. So it's like you you think that your the butthole RC is the only butthole that the guy has ever seen? Yeah. No, constant buttholes. But then my desire to do it, eh, not so much. So like, I'm like, yes, I like the idea of being naked. I understand why somebody would be comfortable to be being naked, but do I want to then go and be naked and have somebody pay me? No. I don't think I don't the butthole either. is part of, part of it, really. I, I, yeah. I, I haven't seen Yeah, I that. didn't draw the butthole. Yeah, yeah. yeah we didn't request so that. We, yeah. we didn't request that angle. I think what you're describing is the, and I agree with that, so it's appealing to me to the like just the vulnerability of overcoming that. Getting to a point where you can just walk walk down the street naked. I like that idea because it would represent overcoming something for me. But it would seem if you were walking down the street it would just seem like an exhibitionist. Yeah. And there was nothing exhibitionist about their personalities. But if you were naked 
I would have a difficult time not calling it an exhibition. Yeah. Okay, we have a would you rather uh, situation here now. Reshingle a roof. Naked. Or, okay. Or throw pottery. Throw pottery. pottery. Not, like make like, like, like on a wheel. Yeah. I don't want to be on top of a roof naked. Heck no. For a number of reasons. Uh-uh. But I think you have to be naked to do the pottery. Yeah, you have to. Right. I mean, it's that it's pottery. Wrap your thighs around that spinning. It's one of the get it sexiest night. things that you can do. Um, yeah, so it's like you're doing one of these things. It's like yeah, using, right. using your inner it's thighs. It's like a, a thigh master situation. The idea of like, in fact, my therapist actually was talking about. He was just like, you know, there are a number of things you can do to continue to sort of. Uh, get into your body, get into your feelings. That's why people like to do things like pottery. Mm-hmm. And uh, he was like, you know, you get a pottery wheel. And then I, I, this is what I thought. I was like, that sounds like a great idea. The only reason I wouldn't do it is because Seth Rogen has already done it, and he's and so he's like, he's yeah, he's the that's his thing. He's the guy who does the pottery. And so anybody, even in tangentially in the comedy mm-hmm. world, who decides they're going to start Can't making pottery it. and put it on Instagram, what are you? What are you, Seth Rogen? And I'm not gonna do something and just keep it to myself. You know what? Because I'm an exhibitionist. Yeah. You could be the Tinker Toy guy. Yeah, right. Oh, just a uh, quick reminder. Sorry, Stevie. We, we gotta do this. Uh, this is the last quarterly collector item of the year. It's Rhett and Link plushies. They talk. <laughs> Uh, now, sign up for third degree quarterly or annual by December 31st. They are not anatomically correct. Go to mythicalsociety.com to get those. But, but there is a belly. I've said this before, I'll say it again. I had a cabbage, I had an imitation cabbage patch doll um, back in the 80s. Uh, it, was a, it was a boy. He had a baseball cap and he had uh, a penis and testicles. Mm-hmm. And this is a little, just a little fabric folds. No, it was it was more than that. It had a glance. <laughs> no, uh, no, it was less than that. <laughs> okay, so it was a tw- it was a twig and it was a, a ball sack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I made out of fabric. That. Yeah, I made out of fabric, but it, and it was stuffed. Yeah, and my grandma's say, friend made them. That's what was weird about it. If, like, <laughs> if you uh, if you want more of the behind the scenes of the episode that we shot today, that's over on the Mythical Society as well. So yeah, there, yeah. there is more. <laughs> yeah, so leave this now, go over to the Mythical Society, and you can watch another layout of awkwardness on the Mythical Society, please. To get the Rhett and Link plushies, join Third Degree Quarterly or Annual by December 31st. Visit mythicalsociety.com for details.